Hello, my name is Barbara Martinez, and I'm going to speak for a few minutes about situational awareness. To begin, let's take a quick little stroll down memory lane and look back at the history of control room design. 40 to 50 years ago, before the advent of DCS, plants operated with large control panels like the first picture above. Physical space on these panels was very limited, and each indication, dial, or feedback device was relatively expensive. So a tremendous amount of advanced thought went into the control room design before it was even built. With the advent of DCS, however, suddenly, physical space and equipment expense were no longer limiting factors. Everything could go on a digital graphic. This was new and exciting. The options seemed limitless, but where to begin? We knew we could now make graphics containing every single little piece of equipment, every device and indication we wanted. Where could we find all this information easily? Ah and the PNIDs. So most DCS graphics you'll find in plants around the world are now based on PNIDs. Quick and easy, right? But there is an inherent problem with this. PNIDs were designed to build the plant, not to control the process. And a bit of time and experience has made that distinction very clear. Here are a couple quick examples. Here is a very typical example of a graphic you might find in any plant running today. As you can see, it was designed based on a PNID. The indication readouts are situated near their corresponding measurement probes. The tank is pretty and three-dimensional, and the valves have a lot of detail. But there are several problems with this style of graphic, which can negatively impact operations. The first problem we notice, the very same metric, in this case the color red, is used to indicate that a valve is closed, a pump is stopped, a heat exchanger is on, the agitator is off, and, oh, by the way, this very high priority alarm on a temperature indication requires the operator's immediate attention. When you use the same metric to mean many things, it loses its meaning. Alarm colors should be reserved exclusively for alarm states, never for normal operational states. The second problem is the equipment representation. This large 3D tank is very large, very eye-catching. Looks really nice, right? but it gives the operator no information, no value. The same with these detailed control valves. They draw the eye, and studies prove that operators spend extra time looking at these types of objects. Nothing should draw the eye of the operator except for situations which require his attention, certainly not static equipment. The third problem is the way data is commonly presented, in this case, through a digital indication. Looking at this reactor, you can see that the temperature reading must be very important because there are three redundant probes, all measuring batch temperature. But looking at that temperature value right now, is this value good? Am I close to my set point? Am I within my optimal operating range? How about all three probes? I have to look around a bit to locate all three and mentally check the value. But without context, this is just data, and only an experienced operator could be sure of what he's looking for. So what do we do? We use situational awareness and turn data into information. Right away, looking at this graphic, the first thing you note is that there's not a lot of distracting color. Everything is muted and with low contrast, reducing eye strain on the operator and improving overall alertness. We can see now that the temperature indications we saw on the other page are not grouped around the reactor drawing, but grouped together where they have value in context. We can see right away that all three of these values are falling within the optimal operational range, just at a glance. I don't need to do a mental calculation, and I don't need to look around for the three different digital values. This helps prevent human error, because a drifting value becomes much more obvious within the context of an analog bar. Another big point for situational awareness is how we design overview displays. Traditional overview displays look like a picture of the plant. Raw materials, the reactors, the product storage. This overview happened to at least mention some area KPIs, but they are noted over here in the corner as an afterthought. But your key performance indications are not the afterthought, are they? They are a critical point of focus to understand the health and quality of your process. Situational awareness level one graphics give you a broad grasp of the health of your entire process. Individual area KPIs are highlighted using advanced visualization objects such as polar stars, so you can see at a glance how far your process is straying from the ideal. 
you can see an overview of critical plant control loops. A manager walking by might see a pressure control loop is in manual. Maybe he wants to give a call down to that area to see what's going on, if they need any help. A profitability chart, if the customer is using software like Connoisseur, can give a good representation of how well production is going. In addition to that, the use of dashboards with intelligent alarm propagation can help operators avoid common mistakes. Human error can be a major contributor to industrial accidents, and a major cause of human error comes from when an operator is so hyper-focused on one problem, he doesn't realize a higher priority issue needs his attention. One benefit of situational awareness graphics is good use of the pop-out effect. Color as a metric is used sparingly, so when it is used, it pops right out at the operator so he knows something is wrong. Additionally, Foxborough Evo Control HMI alarm borders send the highest priority alarm to the navigational dashboard, letting the operator know where he needs to click to find the most pressing problem. When the operator arrives, he can click on the controller and call up a means to solve the problem. Here I'm going to override the control loop and force it to cool off. Situational awareness graphics give you insightful HMI, human-machine interface with the human's needs in mind.